हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो येट अगेन आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एक्चुअली इट्स बीन ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट अ योर सिंस आई पोस्टेड ऑन द चैनल बट हियर वी आर अगेन विथ अनदर बाइक वीडियो सो टुडे वी गोन टू रिव्यू वन ऑफ माय वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड्स बाइक इज लाइक अ ब्रदर टू मी ही हैज ही राधो ओन्स दिस ट्राइम्फ स्ट्रीट ट्विन नाइन हंड्रेड एंड हीज बीन ओनिंग इट सिंस ट्वेंटी सो या आई मीन आई जस्ट गो ओवर द स्पेक्स ऑफ द बाइक वेरी क्विकली It has 65 bhp, 64.1 to be precise. 18 newton meters of torque. Okay, uh, twin disc basically with ABS, obviously dual channel. Uh, the front caliper is a Brembo, and the back one is the Nissan. Um, and I mean, it has torque exhaust, twin exhaust, obviously. Uh, it's a parallel twin engine. Okay, and uh, it's a very reliable bike. Uh, as you guys know, Triumph is a very well-known company in the UK, and I mean. This bike has also been very reliable. This is the bike. I'll show you the console as well. This is the this is the console. Okay, instrument cluster, info button. Ah, uh, obviously indicators, the horn, and this is for the mode. There are two modes in this. One is um the normal mode basically, and one is the rain mode. Okay, where basically um the acceleration is not as um. aggressive as compared to the normal mode okay and this is the kill switch and this is the hazard light that's a water i'll just give you a quick exhaust note as well of the bike completely stock you also have amog or uh, He's going to give us a brief about his ownership about the bike. So I've been owning this bike since 2022 and this bike is my heart, it's my soul. So I'm going to give you some pros and cons about this bike. So mileage, okay? So what would you expect for a 900cc to give you? 10 15 km per liter. No, but then this bike gives you 20 to 25 in the city and on highways it gives you 30 to 35 km per liter. So that is very good. And second, the second pro is the handle it is very stable so i've been on high speeds above 150 and the handle like if you ride a royal enfield the handle will shake above 150 but then this doesn't so it gives you confidence to go more and the third is the torque so this bike has 18 newton meters of torque so if there's a lot of traffic in the city and you want to maneuver through traffic this is the best bike for you so these are the pros like every other thing there are cons as well so the cons are first is the uh, fuel tank it is very small like no very small but it is 10 plus 2 so 10 liters plus 2 2 liters in the reserve so that's 12 liters and it gives you a range of 180 to 200 in the city so the uh, second con is this uh, if you if you have a pillion or if you have a girlfriend which i don't have uh, so if she's sitting there's nothing to hold on so she can fall down or anything like that and the third issue is overheating so this bike overheats a lot cuz it's a 900 cc you'd expect it to overheat but then you can't ride it in shorts you have to wear boots and jeans compulsory otherwise it's very tough to ride it so i want to tell you something uh, in on yeah in january 2024 5 jan to be specific my brother crashed this bike on a highway so i'll tell you which parts were damaged So these two spokes were gone the speedometer was gone the headlight was gone the brake was gone and this front front guard and yeah the my master cylinder was gone and my mirror you, as you can see it's a bit damaged from the accident so yeah so i put my bike for repair on jan 5th and i got this 3 days ago which is may 28th so that's been april five, april so that's been sorry So that's been five months. So yeah, the service took a lot of time. They told me uh, it'll be ready in two months, but then it wasn't, and I had to wait five months for this bike. But then my baby is back again. Yeah, guys. So this is what uh, his review was on yeah. the bike. In short, he meant that basically the parts like the fork. He said spokes, but fork. Okay, the 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 front mud guard. Okay, the suspensions. Okay, and obviously the master cylinder, the headlight, and everything went for replacement, and the parts obviously took time basically from the service center. So that is another issue with Triumph uh, yeah, India. Uh, another point, sorry to interrupt you, but if I didn't have insurance, all this, all this would have costed me six lakhs. 
and the then, price of the bike is around 8 to 9 lakhs yeah and so you could imagine the insurance with insurance it only costed me 6000 so that's good yeah all right guys so this was a very short video after a very long time and uh, yeah i look to you know put more videos on the channel more often uh, i'll be basically putting out videos along with amog and yeah uh, peace see you guys later bye bye